Hello, everybody. My name is Kathy Kennedy. I've been a registered nurse for more than 40 years, and I'm president of the Mighty California Nurses Association and vice president of National Nurses United. As the largest union of registered nurses in the United States, I'm proud to share that National Nurses United is continuing to fight tirelessly for Medicare for all at the federal level. We have also been fighting for decades for single-payer health care in California, also known as CalCare, and that's the campaign I'd like to share an update with you about today. First, I want to share a brief recap of the last legislative session. Because of our tireless campaign, we've successfully pushed the previous CalCare bill, AB 1400, through two important committees, all the way to the assembly floor. We also gained the support of key assembly leaders who had never supported single payer before, including the assembly speaker. This was a huge development. To get there, we organized like hell across every corner of the state through all of 2021 and into January of 2022. We held multiple statewide days of action, texted nearly 4 million voters, sent thousands of handwritten postcards to voters and made 70,000 phone calls and much more. 28 cities passed resolutions in support of CalCare and many of these efforts were led by our volunteer leaders with support from allied organizations. We didn't get the outcome we wanted last January, but we made historic progress and learned some key lessons. We also stayed busy for the rest of 2022. We campaigned for 11 state assembly and Senate candidates whom we called our CalCare champions and nine of those 11 candidates won in November. We created the Nurses CalCare Patient Protection Pledge for candidates and elected officials to publicly commit to fighting for CalCare. We now have 35 pledge signers, including several state legislators. Our volunteer district leaders led over 30 lobby visits in January and early February of this year to let their legislators know we're serious about CalCare again this session. Because of all of this work, I'm proud to share that our new CalCare bill, AB 1690, was introduced in mid-February. This bill is what we call a spot bill, and that was a strategic choice we made this time around. A spot bill is a short one paragraph bill that states the intent of the legislature. In our case, to work towards single payer health care for all Californians. We've heard from many legislators that they want to engage in a meaningful discussion and give feedback on our bill. While there are certain principles of CalCare we would never compromise on, we also understand that it is important to engage in a dialogue with the legislature and to ensure that a majority support CalCare when the time comes. A spot bill allows the time for this critical dialogue while we continue to organize and build power inside and outside the Capitol. So our plan is to have those critical conversations this year and introduce a full single payer bill in early 2024. It is essential that we put in work now to prepare for that moment and nurses are more committed than ever to getting this done. Let me briefly cover our five point plan to build the movement for CalCare this year. First is our biggest ever field program. We're returning to a huge focus on door-to-door -door and crowd canvassing in 2023. We've recently launched this program with a statewide weekend of action in late March with 50 Canvas events across the state where hundreds of volunteers talk to thousands of people about CalCare. And going forward, we'll be organizing statewide weekends of canvassing once a month. We are also expanding our district leader program with the goal of having sustained local organizing in as many assembly districts as possible. These leaders are building the movement in their districts and laying the groundwork to ensure that their assembly member votes yes on CalCare when the time comes. 
Second is broadening and deepening our coalition. We plan to continue working closely with our healthcare justice movement allies, but we also need to expand and diversify the movement. We're focusing a ton of our efforts on reaching out to new organizations that haven't been involved before. We're also launching a new CalCare organizing table for groups doing field organizing to connect and to coordinate together. Third is building support in the labor movement. We know this is essential to getting CalCare passed. The California Labor Federation did officially support the previous CalCare bill, AB 1400, but that support was mostly on paper. And we wanna build on this. We need to do more education among the labor movement and get active support from more unions. We've already started working with all the central labor councils across the state and have made presentations to 10 of them so far with several more on the books. Fourth is public education and inoculation. During the last election cycle in California, the corporate healthcare industry spent millions of dollars attacking pro-CalCare candidates with propaganda and misinformation. We know that the closer we get to winning, the more these attacks will increase. We must start preparing for this right now. And that is why we want to create a robust public education program to solidify support for CalCare and to inoculate against disinformation from our opponents. This approach will include speaker training for our nurse members and a series of online video explainers to combat corporate disinformation. Our plan is to launch these efforts this summer. And finally, the fifth component of our plan is to organize inside the legislature. A huge priority for us in 2023 is to work more closely with both our CalCare allies and with legislators who want to engage in deeper discussion about the policy. This work is being led and guided by our excellent government relations department. They are working to educate legislators and their staff on the policy details of CalCare, answer any questions they may have, and to take feedback on the bill. In addition, we are organizing a series of town hall events across the state this summer with our CalCare allies in the legislature. These town halls will create an opportunity for supportive legislators to publicly discuss CalCare with their constituents. So that's our five part plan for CalCare in 2023. If you live in California, I hope you'll join us in this fight if you're not involved. Even if you're outside of California, there are actions you can take to stand in solidarity. In either case, you can sign up at bit.ly forward slash MFA join to get started. We are very proud of the fact that this movement is led by nurses. Nurses are on the front line of a broken healthcare system and know better than anyone what needs to be done to fix it. But we also know that we can't do this alone. This campaign draws its strength from being a grassroots movement of committed people like yourselves. We thank you and we look forward to continuing to work together towards a true healthcare justice. Thank you.